In this video, we'll be going over how to set up your Python path in a Linux terminal and a Windows command prompt to be able to use GitHub repositories you've cloned onto your computer. And specifically, we'll be using the Astro Dynamics with Python GitHub repository so we can run a basic usage scripts like so. So we can just say Python 3 example usage ground tracks dot pi. The script will run and then we'll get a plot that shows four different orbits ground tracks around the earth like so and then for the example of the windows 10 command prompt you can go ahead and run another example usage case where we are here just doing many orbits and then displaying them in 3d so first we need to understand what python path is and how python uses it python path is a list of directories that python will look in when you want to import a package and we can see that list in Python in the sys module. So if we say from sys import path and print out path, we here we see eight paths where Python is going to look when there is an import call. So for example, if we say import numpy and then print out numpy, we see that is a module that is located in this directory in the site packages, which is the same as this directory right here in the Python path. But say that you want to be able to import a module that is not in one of those paths, say from your own custom library or a GitHub repository like you cloned, like the Astro Dynamics with Python repository. And in that case, you can add the Python path inside Python scripts themselves or in your environment. So we'll start with the method of adding to the Python path within Python scripts. So in the AWP repository, we have a directory with all the Python tools that we would want to import, which is located here. If we say ls, src, python tools, here are a bunch of Python scripts that we want to import. So right now, if we wanted to import the spacecraft module, we would get the no module named spacecraft error since Python looked in all the paths in the Python path and did not find anything named spacecraft. So for example, again, from sys import path, and we print out path, and then we say import spacecraft, even though there is a spacecraft.py here, Python path or Python did not find anything named spacecraft within every single one of the paths in Python path. The path variable here is a Python list, so we can do things like append or insert values into it. So right now we can see len length of path. We can see that it has seven values in it. And then we can path.append the directory containing all the Python tools in the AWP repository like this. So we can just say path.append and then we put in that string using an absolute path pub AWP SRC Python tools just like that. And if we print out path, we see since we appended to it, which is to the end of a list, add a value to the end of a list, we have that path right here at the end. And of course we can say, if we get that length again, we'll see that it is eight. So now if we try to import spacecraft again, we don't get any errors. So if we go import spacecraft, we don't get any errors. And then if you just say spacecraft here, we see that is a module that is located at that path that we added to the Python path. So overall, you could, if you wanted to, have this from sys import path and path.append to every one of your Python scripts that needed to import a module not located in the standard paths. But there is another way of setting the Python path environment variable in your environment or your shell. Now we'll go over how to set the Python path environment variable in a Linux terminal, which would be the same as in Mac OS and a Windows 10 command prompt. We can see the content of environment variables with the echo command on both systems. So if we take a look at the path environment variable over here, so we say echo path, we can see that this is a list of paths where the shell is going to look into when you type in a command. So for example, if you say which ls, where the ls command just simply lists out the contents in the directory that you're currently in, or if you say which python3, is both going to come up with user bin as a path to where both of these executables are, where if we look in the path variable, that is located right here, user bin. And the same thing over here in Windows, it's called where. So if we say where Python 3, and also if we say echo modulo path modulo, we can see that this app data local Microsoft Windows apps, app data local Microsoft Windows apps. So since we know where the Python executable is in its path, we can actually just call it that way if we wanted to. So just like we can say Python 3 to open up the Python interpreter, we could also just 
point directly to where it is python 3 and it's exactly the same thing same thing here so if we just copy here this path paste it here it's exactly equivalent as just saying python 3. Now we can set the Python path environment variable with the export command in Linux slash Mac OS and the set command in Windows. So for example, again, from sys import path, we see that the path is all these. And if we try to say import spacecraft, we're going to get that same error. Now, if we say export Python path is equal to that directory where we have that library, which is here. AWP SRC Python tools. We can say echo money sign Python path. We have that there. So now if we say Python three and we go from sys import path path, we see that here at the beginning is that Python path that we input in the environment. So if we now just say without doing the path dot append command, say import spacecraft, we're going to find spacecraft exactly where we expect it to be in that directory. And we'll do exactly the same thing on Windows. So again, from sys import path, we take a look at the path, it's a bunch of different paths, get out of that. And we say echo, it's ampers or modulo, Python path modulo here, which just says Python path like that, which means it's not set to anything. So then we can say set Python path is equal to, and using Windows directories, we go users and pub awp src python tools like that so then if we say echo modulo python path modulo python 3 from sys import path path we see it again right at the beginning and we can from here say import spacecraft and spacecraft is found at that directory. So overall, all you have to do to get started with the AstroDynamics with Python repository is first install all the requirements via pip of Python. So we can say Python 3, oops, Python 3 dash M pip install dash R requirements.txt. That's what that file is there for. Here it's going to say requirements already satisfied for everything. So once that is done and we already have the echo Python path pointing to that directory. That's how you can go ahead and say Python three example usage ground tracks and everything should run smoothly like that. So overall, let me know if you have any questions about this and let me know what kind of topics you'd like to see about Python in this series and I'll see you in the next one.